welcome to the trig unit lesson two on 30, 60, 90 right triangles. And this is a special right triangle. And what makes it special is every 30, 60, 90 triangle is similar to one another, so they have these same patterns. The, so 30, 60, 90s are special right triangles because they come up, have a pattern to solve for the sides. So let's start with this first one. We are going to label the short side X. Well, you've got to look at this, and it's not drawn to scale. You have to look at it and decide what's your short leg. Well, you go to the smallest angle, which is 30 degrees, and the side opposite that would be your short leg. So this actually would be X. Now, your long leg is the leg that's opposite the 60 degree angle. So we're going to label that with its pattern. Okay, the pattern is you take x and you multiply it by the square root of 3. So I'm going to take x and I'm going to actually reverse that order and put x square root 3 as my longer leg. And then the hypotenuse is always opposite, obviously the right angle. And that is going to be, the rule is 2 times x or 2x. Okay, and that is our general rule, and it works for every 30, 60, 90 right triangle. And I'm going to draw this triangle that we have. Here's 60 up here. Now notice we've turned the triangle, so you have to be careful. Okay, this one we're given the short leg, and how do we know we're given the short leg? It's not because it's drawn shorter, it's because it's opposite the 30 degree angle, so we know that's your short leg. Okay, we're going to label that just X, just like the rule says, to label it as X. So label the short leg equal to X. Now label the long leg. Okay, the long leg is this leg over here, and remember it's X root 3. Okay, so we're going to take X root 3, and since we know X is 7, we're just going to plug in a 7 right there. So 7 square root 3, so that is the length of the long leg, 7 square root 3. Now the hypotenuse is 2x. Again, we know x is 7, so we're just going to plug a 7 in there. 2 times 7, so the hypotenuse is 14. Okay, so that's how you find each of the sides, and this is the easiest way. If you have the short leg, you're just multiplying by the square root of 3 to get the long leg and you're multiplying by 2 to get the hypotenuse.